everybody, so I didn't expect to have to do part three, or part two of this. Um, so this is gonna be, hopefully, the rest of my ankle boots and things like that. I'm hoping that we get into, um, what's gonna be part four of this entire series, and it's going to be all of my sneakers, and then we do all of my, um, pumps and heels once my last pair of those come in tomorrow, which won't be my last pair I'm buying generally, but... You get what I'm saying. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this and hopefully it's going to be the last part. Okay, so these ones are from either Shoe Show or Amazon. I don't really remember. I saw they're size 7.5. So they have a white stripe going down both sides. And then again, something I really like about them is the inner um, zipper. They have white laces going up the front, which I think is a nice contrast instead of a black. And then these black here is actually a suede kind of leather material and I'll zoom in so you can see that you can see this is a shiny kind of material and this is a suede matte material okay and these are a size 6 medium and they have the clear glass heel like the Ariana Grande ones that were really popular in 2016 when I got these um these, I do not really remember where I got them from. My best guess is Amazon, Shoe Depot, and maybe Marshalls. No, actually I got these like in 2020. Because I know for a fact it was when I worked at Texas Roadhouse during the quarantine. So, definitely got these in 2020. And so there's a wide variety of places I could have gotten these from and the tag that I have just says that they were made with fabric so but take of that what you will <laughs> so yeah that's all there is to these these are just like big blue sock uh, knockoff Balenciagas so these are my first pair of Juicy Coutures and my only pair of Juicy Coutures which is a brand that I love because of, I kind of grew up on it because of Disney Channel. They were always mentioning, juicy, juicy, juicy. So, as soon as I seen these and I thought they were pretty, I snatched them up. It just says juicy on the back. And then it says juicy couture down here. And as you can see, these got in a lot of wares. I love these things. They have some studs and they actually attached by Velcro. And they have silver little um, holes for the laces. I feel like it would have been a cute detail to have made the anklets, um, or the aglets be a silver, but missed opportunity there. But other than that, that's the whole design of these shoes, and yeah. Okay, so these are actually some of my favorite pairs of shoes. As you see, I wear them a lot. And the tread on these are awesome. They're a pair of heeled combat boots, which I think goes with honestly anything. And they don't lace up traditionally, they just lace up through holes instead of having to crisscross around the thing, crisscross around the thing. And then they have even traction on the heel, which is really nice. And it's a smaller heel and it has a bit of a platform too, so that makes them really comfortable. They are a size six and a half medium. They fit me like a glove and I wear them all the time and they were from Shoe Carnival. So these are my Laura Muranos. I used to wear them all the time. These are from Shoe Show. But as I've gotten older, just because I have bunions now, probably because of the heels, I'm not gonna lie. These point toes without any sort of leverage here drives me completely insane and I can't walk in it for a long period of time. And again, like most designs that I like, these have the inside um, zipper, inside the outside zipper. And I do really like the detailing here and with the gold aglets that sets it off for me. And also the gold zipper. Laura Murano killed it with these, so shout out to Laura Murano. So these I wore for my graduation party with my little red dress. As you can see, they got a little bit messed up. 
um, which I wish it would be on the inside where you can't notice it, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I think I spilled like syrup or something like that on them. So I have just these little things on the back. Um, has a little red tag on the zipper. It's like a patterned kind of design. A very, very small heel on the back. And then very minimal tread on the bottoms. And that's all I have to say about these. These I've had since like 2012. Um, they still fit me, just not as comfortably. Um, they're just a brown heel with a little buckle that crosses over and then some detailing up here. They're falling apart because I've had it for so long, but again, sentimental value. So I'll probably never get rid of these. There are some Uggs that I bought last year at Ollie's. Um, they're still in pretty good condition. The main thing I have to complain about is that the um, comfort part, like at the bottom of the shoe here, does not stay intact very long. But the tread's still pretty good on them. They're still pretty plushy. My main thing, again, is the actual sole itself down inside the shoe is like very flat. But otherwise, they're a great shoe. This shoe came from my grandma once again. I don't know where she got them from. Um, it's Tom and Trude brand, so I'm going to say Walmart. They are a size 8.5, which is surprising that they fit me. They have a cute little buckle over here on the side. It's pretty much the exact same design and everything as my leopard print pair. Okay, these are my second to last pair of my boots. These are a size 5 in kids. Yeah, five. And they are a clear rain boot material with a pink bottom and pink laces with glitter in them. And I fell in love with them when I seen them. And I had some extra money that was a gift from my other grandfather. And I decided to snatch them up. Last pair of shoes. So these are one of my absolute favorites to wear right now. They have a black bottom. They're white with black laces. They're the exact same thing as the ones I just showed you. They're a size 5 in kids. They did have these in women's sizes, but they were extremely expensive. They were like 40 bucks. These, I want to say I got them for like 10 bucks, maybe 20 in the kids section at Walmart. So shop smarter, not harder. You shop in the kids section, I bet you you'll find your size because I even shop in the little boys section for sneakers. So that's my tip of the day and thank you so much for watching.